and so solar-powered night schools give these children the opportunity to study. दिन में क्या है कि ये बेड बकरी चलाते हैं सभी लोग बच्चे हैं ना सब तो जो रात की स्कूल यहाँ पे सरकारी स्कूल यहाँ पे है नहीं यहाँ पे दो तीन किलो कम से कम तीन चार किलोमीटर है वहाँ पे बच्चे जा नहीं सकते इस वजह से ये रात की स्कूल चलाना पड़ा और उनको पढ़ाना चलता है The children's parents work at salt factories in the area. Many can neither read nor write. Children who have attended school can help their parents with everything from household budgets to making sure their parents don't get cheated by their employers. It's not only the nighttime schools that help fill the education gap in Rajasthan. The Barefoot College also contributes with education on social issues in the villages using traditional puppet shows. हमने कठपुतली के माध्यम से गांव में तमाम सारे जो ग्रामीण समस्याओं के मुद्दे हैं उन पर लोगों से चर्चा किया सीधा संवाद किया शिक्षा के लिए पीने के पानी के लिए रोजगार के लिए विज्ञान और तकनीकी चीजों के लिए सामाजिक कुरूतियां जिनको हम कहते हैं उनके लिए जैसे छुआछूत है जैसे महिलाओं का असमानता का व्यवहार है जैसे शराब मृत्यु भोज बाल विवाह तमाम सारी इन चीजों के जो हम लोगों को कह सकते हैं लोगों को बता सकते हैं सीधे मुंह से कहना मुश्किल है पर कठपुतली और नुक्कड़ नाटक और गीत और हमारे संगीत के माध्यम से लोगों को अपने ही जैसे लोगों की फेवर की बात इस माध्यम से लोगों तक पहुंचाते हैं Traditionally, puppetry in Rajasthan was used by the feudal rulers to show off their history and accomplishments. Today, the Barefoot College uses puppets with characters taken from the villages. Yokim Chaka, the daring uncle, has become a local celebrity and the villagers listen to him. The puppets are made from recycled World Bank reports. The World Bank and the United Nations agencies are far from popular at the Barefoot College. The Barefoot College is I suppose the only college in India which does not allow the World Bank and the UN to come into the college. Because there is nothing that they that they have that we don't know already. What have they got? what have they got to share with very poor people nothing absolutely useless it is a business poverty is big business i can quite confidently say that i think the these people who have the money so called have the brains so called have the approaches want to keep the poor poor because this is a big business Can you imagine if you didn't have any poverty how many people will be without jobs in the World Bank and the UN I mean it's to their vested interest to see that the poor remain poor you have the solution but you don't want to implement it you have a low cost solution but you don't want to implement it because it doesn't require consultants coming from abroad it doesn't require pre and post and all these reports which keep it's a disaster what really helps the poorest of the poor are the small decentralized demystified projects where they control own and manage the technology uh that should benefit them and that has been our approach for the last 38 years in the barefoot college and right now we have to we have to shift our mindset from big centralized solutions to small decentralized solutions and that is what the barefoot college is trying to show by going all over the continent of africa the small decentralized village based solutions community based solutions are the answers today it is going against big business it is going against government policy it is going against everything that the world bank stands for the barefoot college is working to revive traditional knowledge and skills among the poor
100 years ago when there was no doctor, no teacher, no engineer, what did very poor people do in villages in India and everywhere in the world? They had their own skill, they had their own knowledge. It's all dying out now. So the Barefoot College is trying to revive that knowledge and skill. The future of the country of India lies in how much you can uh, take the people into confidence, utilize their skills and come up with solutions they've already got. It's not happening. The policies are, are bad, the policies are anti-poor. So we have a big battle ahead and it's a good battle. Nothing that we will not lose, that's for sure.